We begin tonight with a Valley News Live investigation. Verbal and emotional abuse. Those are the claims from current and past NDSU cheer students describing their now former coach, Verona Winkler. After a several month long investigation, NDSU confirmed to Valley News Live tonight, Winkler has resigned from her position after 21 years, though the reason remains unclear. Valley News team's Aaron Walling joins us now live in studio to show us what he's found. Aaron. Thanks, Justin. In August, we received several messages from former students that were a part of the NDSU cheer squad, with claims stemming back to 2018 against Verona Winkler. The claims ranged from anywhere from forcing students to practice while injured to addressing another student's weight in front of everyone. Tonight, I spoke with one former cheerleader and her parents who say the coach would make threats of violence towards the students. It's an investigation you only see here on Valley News Live. Everything from the first camp to that last practice, I definitely had my worries about her and um, the things that she would tell us and say to us. This former cheerleader's identity has been altered due to fears of retaliation by Verona Winkler. She describes the toxic culture created by Winkler, adding that she would call them names, body shame, and use threats of violence towards them. I have heard her say things like, I want to um, throw this chair at you. I could stomp on your face right now. She says she got to her breaking point, and that's when her parents got involved, asking the school to help out. It's hard to imagine that the school or athletic department didn't know this was kind of going on, and to allow it is unacceptable. According to the former student athlete, Winkler would make claims that she was untouchable. She would also use intimidation to make sure we didn't come forward about this kind of thing. She would say things like, um, I have the school lawyers. I don't even have to pay for them. People have tried to get me fired in the past and I'm still here. Now, since starting this investigation, I requested several documents, including Verona's personnel file. In it, we found an alleged assault between two students in 2018. However, through our investigation, we interviewed 10 former cheerleaders about these allegations against Winkler. We've requested on several occasions to interview Winkler, Athletic Director Matt Larson and Associate Athletic Director Colleen Heimstead. Each time was rejected, denying any, any knowledge of these allegations against the former cheer coach. All right, thanks, Aaron. Worth noting, we asked for the interviews from the school on October 26th and November 2nd. They declined both times. Winkler resigned November 9th after those requests. We'll continue to offer to hear more from their side of the story. In the meantime, tomorrow on Valley News Live, you can catch the second part of Aaron's investigation. We'll hear from another former cheerleader who says he was forced to perform with an injury. Again, that's tomorrow on Valley News Live.